I get in my car and I start honking our favorite song. <laughs> Crazy. I just got to the studio. Oh my god, look at all these plaques. Lady Gaga, the fame. <gasps> the plane was booked for the wrong date. <laughs> They're like here, right here. Made it alive. Landed, thought we were gonna crash for a sec, but made it alive. What the cars? Ooh, she's ready to take on the town. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my vlog! So, I'm gonna shut the door because my bed is full of clothes because I have been packing. So, I have quite a story for you today. I have to wash my hands first. Oh my god. So, basically, I am going on a week- oh, hold on, let me wash my hands first. I am running slim on time and I will explain to you exactly why. Of course, today's vlog had to start off with a bang. It wouldn't be my channel otherwise. Oh my god, I'm dropping all my skincare. That's so- Fun. Okay. Yeah, basically, I am about to get on a flight in like, what, two hours now? And I was dilly-dallying all day because I had so much time to pack. I have so much time. It's unbelievable. Like, oh my god, like I may as well just like lounge around at this point and just like drink my smoothie. But then, all of a sudden, I realized I lost this piece of equipment that I need. Like, my SD card reader and I lost my SD card. Like, I couldn't find it. And then I also, I needed to go run a few errands. And then I'm like, okay, let me just get ready first. I'll run the errands later. I sit down to do my makeup. I grab my foundation and I'm having a brandy bottle because it was also running out. I grab my foundation, I start putting it on, and then I realize I am not tan enough. Like, I am not fitting the color of my foundation. So guess what? I need to go get a tan because guess what? I'm going out of town this weekend and I'm serving looks. And I am not going to not serve looks because, because my, I don't match my foundation basically. So I get in the car, I go rush to get a tan. I stop to get a coffee on the way to get a tan. I get my tan, I go through all the obstacles trying to get there as fast as I can. I basically get a tan. Oh my god, I need to slow down or else my foundation is gonna end up on my forehead. Oh my god, I also need to pack my makeup. Hold on, let me get my makeup holder things. Oh my god, what is happening? Yeah, okay, I got my makeup bags. I don't know which one. Do I want to use the Care Bear one, the pink one? I'll use the black one. Yeah, I get the tan, whatever. Then I need to go to the Apple store to get the things that I need because I the Apple ordering Postmate service wouldn't come fast enough. I get the stuff from Apple. And then I get home. And because my mom didn't have work today, because there was a blackout at her office so that she had to go home. Yes, that is why. Because she didn't have work today, basically she, or I don't know if it was her or my sister, they locked all of the locks on her doors. And basically, long story short, I only have one of the keys instead of all of them because one of them like fell. It's a long story. So I get back home and I realize I cannot get in the house. I'm there ready to like speed pack. I'm already running short on time and I cannot get in my home. So I start panicking. I thought my sister wasn't home. So I start calling my mom. I can't reach her. I realize she's in her training session. So I call the gym where she's at and I'm like, it's an emergency. I need to talk to my mom now. So they're like, oh my God, an emergency. So they get my mom and I'm like, mommy, I didn't need to panic you, but like I need to get in the house. I start explaining to her and we realize my sister's home. So I'm like, oh my God, my sister is home. I literally checked her location and I did not expect her to be home. So like she was, and she's not answering the phone. I'm going into the backyard. I'm banging on all her windows. I'm like, Blair, I need your attention. She's not answering. So I'm like, I can't scream loud enough. What can I do? And I get in my car and I start honking our favorite song. I literally made a TikTok of it. Like I'll put a glimpse here. I literally honk our favorite song like 10 times and she does not hear it. So then what I do is I um, I start like driving up to the window where her room is to get close as possible and I start playing her favorite song and she still doesn't hear it. And then eventually, 10 minutes later, while I'm like panicking, running around like a manic cat in my driveway, my sister is like, oh my God, what is wrong? Like, why? What's wrong? Like, why are you like hitting me up so many times to unlock the door? Like, I'll open it, Jesus. And I'm like, ah! And then she let me in. She was like, it's fine. Like, I probably just panicked her, you know, with all the honks and like all the calls, but I ended up getting in. And because of that, you know, it really um 
push back my schedule a little bit and now I have to speed get ready. And did I want to speed get ready? No, because I want to take some amazing Instagram pics today, but sometimes we don't always get what we want and we have to speed get ready really, really fast. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I got my tan. It doesn't really show yet. It shows more like later, but I got the tan and that is my little errands is what caused all of this to happen. You know what I mean? And I still have to pack by the way, but at least I have all my outfits planned out. I had a fitting yesterday today at the showroom and I pulled out a bunch of looks and I planned outfit by outfit so I don't have to stress and it's only like a two-day trip basically to explain to you guys I'm going to Phoenix Arizona with some of my besties and we are going to this like car event I think it's a car auction they were going and I was like okay like I'm gonna come along so yeah it'll be fun I feel like there's gonna be a bunch of cool cars and, and I'm just really excited to be with my friends so and we're gonna be jetting there, so it'll just be fun. Like, we'll have so much fun on the way there. Oh my god, I already know Ben's gonna make fun of my makeup because I did it so fast. Honestly, though, sometimes when I do my makeup really fast, I kind of do it the best. I'm not gonna lie. Some extra under the eyes. Speed makeup. It's like the 10 minute makeup challenge. I heard a new trick where you should set your eye makeup, like, right after you put it on. And it basically doesn't give it any time to crease. Oh my god, it already creased. That was quick. I'm packing my makeup as I do it. I'm like, okay, use that, done. Now let me put it in the bag. Okay, I need to pack my brushes as well. Honestly, guys, I'm really trying to focus on minimalism this week. Like, I honestly, I have so many, like, makeup bags that I don't need. Like, so many little things, you know? And I'm just trying to, like, get rid of them all so I can actually see what I do want. I love contouring. Talk about shaping the face. Shaping with speed. Yeah, I have to get ready, pack, so I can meet Ben at the studio because he's having a session, and then we're all gonna go from there. So I have to get ready fast because otherwise I am gonna be the late one. Like the planes aren't gonna take off without us, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm gonna be the one that makes everybody late. And all my friends have somehow become so responsible with their time, and now I'm the only late one. It used to be all of us being late, but now I'm the only late one, and I can't have this be tonight. No, no, no. Oh my god. No, 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 I need to do waterline. Oh my god. What have I done? Okay, this shot is crooked because that is exactly how my day feels right now. Go in the earring hole. Go in. Okay, guys, after the day, I'll show you soon. I'm getting dressed. I'm gonna make the bag for the luggage. I have to put my stuff in the luggage. Go in the luggage. Go in the luggage. Go in. Guys, I think I'm almost done packing my suitcase. I put up plenty of silk pajamas, everything, you know, that I just need for two days. So I think it's time to shut the suitcase. This is a little warm. Will it be a fire hazard? Okay, maybe I'll wait a few minutes. Okay. Oh my God. I'll give you an OOTD. Okay, I'm wearing a tweed blazer, this really cool corset, and this cute pink Chanel bag. Flats, is this cute? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't have time to think. I need to go. I got an Uber! I got an Uber. I have to shut my suitcase. Oh my god, my hair looks like a mess. Honestly, I pulled this off pretty, pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. Nobody would know. Time to take my stack outside. Goodbye. Everybody wave oh, bye to Nicolette. We're leaving her. I'm back when I start honking. Oh, okay. You're not coming with her, so say bye to Nicolette. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now time to go party. Reformation, <laughs> just twist it. Nop, 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 nop. Is there any way you could come back and grab this? I don't have shoes. Yes. Oh, I thought my suitcase was going to start. It was going to be funny, but it's stinks, but... Bye. Bye. Love you, sister. I love you. Love you. I love you. Bye. Blah, 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 Let's hope we can make this happen. <gasps> I just pick up my vlog camera and like the universe is like, let's send all the drama Nicolette's way. Like let's send her all the obstacles, like just to entertain everyone, you know, like.
Okay guys, so we have figured out the flight situation. We're just taking off a little later than expected, which is good because I am currently stuck in a traffic jam, but I was watching it get ready with me right now. I was like reviewing it before I post it and I watched myself contour and I realized I think I'd left my contour kit. So let's see if I left it. We'll see you soon. I guess I will see you guys at Ben's studio. I'm going to the studio right now because that's where Ben is. He's working and we're gonna meet up there and then we're gonna go to the airport. Whee! Oh my God, guys. I ordered a salad from Air One for lunch and I forgot to eat it because I was in such a rush. I feel like when you have ADHD, you dilly-dally for so long and then right before you have to go, that's when you like squeeze in everything you have to do. Comment down below if you're the same. I just got to the studio. Oh my God, look at all these plaques. Lady Gaga, the fame. I brought my suitcase here because we're literally taking off here from the airport. Guys, I got Air One. One's recording. I'm gonna eat. I'm so jittery from eating. I have to remove the cheese from my salad first because I am crazy. I don't eat all cheese. Okay. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm raising the clock. Even in my okay, guys, we are heading to the jet now. We have all our bags. Seeing I just put my bag in the car. Literally, thank God we were able to get another plane because I <laughs> just booked it for the wrong date. You know, typical, typical me. All in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I just got pulled over It was a bad lane change We were like, what did we do? Whee! The fact that it was booked for the wrong date and we were still making it Whee! There's a second checkpoint Let's go find the plane <laughs> They're like here, right here. Okay, let's get the bags. It's fine, it's literally just an hour. Just an hour flight. Oh, I found a phone charger. Oh, I packed it away. It should be an hour flight. Uh, it should be quick. If you guys need snacks or anything, we have some here. We have Is there any light? Uh, yes, once we get the engines running. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a reservation to get to. All reservations. Where, we have a reservation, no reservation. today? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> you scared me. My bag started flying. Made it alive, landed, thought we were gonna crash for a sec, but made it alive. That's so cute. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay guys, finally some light. I feel like this whole vlog has been dark just because I've been in so many dark places. But guys, finally we got to the hotel. We went to go eat and because we got here pretty late, everything was like closed. So we went to the steakhouse and like I've been trying to be in my like health is wealth era. So we went to the steakhouse where like everything was coated in butter and I literally was like, can you guys not cook everything in butter? Can you cook it in olive oil? And they actually did and I had a great meal. So yeah, I just got to the hotel and I have the cutest room basically. It is so cute. I'm just waiting for them to bring my bags. It's just me and my purse here because my other bags have not arrived yet. Basically, I have a cute little living room. We'll figure out what the view is tomorrow. And then here I have this other, where's the lights? Let me open the lights. Well, I can't get the lights to turn on, but I have a little entrance room or a little hangout spot, my bathroom with a bath and I love hotel robes. Like when I'm at home, I never use robes, maybe silk robes, but I just love when like I get to bust out the hotel robes. And there's all like Byretto products here. I love Byretto. Like literally some lotions and everything. So I'm excited. So, so, so excited to get ready tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't wait. We were thinking of going out tonight, but at the same time, I'm just so excited to like get ready tomorrow and go have breakfast and like see Scottsdale and Phoenix during the day. So I was like, let's just go to sleep. Like, let me just go to sleep. So yeah, basically this is the room. This is my cute little bedroom and it's so cute. Oh my God, there's a spa. I should probably go get a massage because my back has been breaking recently with all this working out I've been doing. But yeah, 
a few of us, like, we split up in hotels because, like, this hotel, it was sold out and not all of us could get rooms here because, like, of the car auction. Everybody's just in town. But, yeah, so I'm sleeping for one tonight, but, you know, it'll be, like, a little relaxing night. And... Wow, that's so cute. I love this little tray that they put on the bed. How adorable. Little chocolates with the water. Stay hydrated. Is there Netflix on this TV? <laughs> there better be Netflix because I need to keep watching Emily in Paris. I have a Netflix addiction and like I choose like one show every two weeks. And where's the mute button? Basically when I start watching that show, like I do not stop. Like I will watch it straight for like three weeks until I've watched it like 50 times in a row. And then I'm like, okay, what's the next show? So I just get so addicted. Okay, it turns out there is Netflix, I think. Okay, let me get a little peek at the view. Let me see. Okay. Oh, I see the valet. Okay. How fantastic. Is this not a cute bedroom? It's such a vibe. I'm just waiting for them to bring my bags, but this is actually the town where Kalani lives, and I literally texted her. I was like, hey, last minute, like, we came on a last minute trip, and I'm in your town. And then she was like, what? I'm in Palm Springs for a wedding, and I was like, oh. Literally the one time I'm here, like she's not. I can't believe it. As soon as he gets here with the bags, I need to do my skincare. I'm so excited. Guys, I feel like my skin has actually been very clear recently. Like it's just been very glowy and clear. So I gotta keep it up. I've been using all Aesop skincare and it's been so good on my face. I will definitely give you guys a skincare routine while I'm out here. So maybe not tonight, but like tomorrow night. Look, there's like a fishball mirror. What? Wait, that's crazy. <gasps> Wait, outfit of the day, guys? I'm watching Emily in Paris and I just put on my pajamas. I got the cutest silk outfits from Intimacy, like the Italian lingerie brand. And I love them. Like they're all like silky and cute. I'm just so obsessed with wearing like cute pajamas, especially on trips. I just unpacked my makeup and I laid it all out. It looks so cute. I love it. And then I put my brushes out, my toothbrush, my tongue scraper, and also all my skincare, my little skincare headband. I cannot wait to take my makeup off. As much as I love my makeup, I just want to like feel fresh faced right now. So I'm gonna take it all off, use my skincare. I'm gonna start with some parsley seed oil to take off the makeup. It's literally been taking my mascara off so well. Like I literally use this, I rub it on my eyes and then my mascara is off. Like I don't need to tug at anything. The only problem is like this oil kind of gets in my eye and then it, everything is foggy for a sec. Let me know if you have any tips on how to not get the oil in my eye and let it get foggy. Okay guys, I just did my skincare routine. Look at that glowy, bouncy skin. Is it not? Like, I'm sorry guys. I normally don't gush over on my own skincare routine, but like, I have to give you this routine. It is so good. <laughs> People have been coming up to me in person and being like, what is your skincare routine? And I'm like, wait, you're asking me? I'm gonna finish my routine and then I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs> She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on tip, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do. You made it! What the cars? I've always wanted a pastel one, like a pastel pink or a pastel blue convertible. This is the Nicolette car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been sold. Aww. Aww. Wait, that's so cute. This is like exactly what I would love. Look at this. Just like the G-Wagon. Oh my god, it's so cute! That's so petite and cute! <gasps> Guys, oh my god. Donald's. Oh my god! Look at the neon signs! Oh my god, guys, this car is at $650,000.
I am so cold. I have been freezing, but I thought I would give you guys a little outfit of the day. So my dress is from Odd Muse London. It is so cute and so snatching. My purse is Chanel from Rebag. And then my earrings are Heaven Mayhem. I've been so cold because I didn't bring a jacket. Like I have been freezing, like freezing, freezing. We went and we had a drink outside and like, I was like shivering the whole time. I was like, this is Back to my room. Okay guys, I just changed and now we're gonna be going out to dinner. We're gonna go to club something. I will show you guys when we get there, but I love this outfit. It's also from Odd Muse London. All their stuff just snatches me so well. And yeah, basically that's the fit. And I'm wearing these heels from Kurt Geiger from London. I just missed my elevator. <laughs> okay, time to go down. Ooh, she's ready to take on the town. Don't mind me, I'm just on FaceTime with my long distance best friend, just yapping about all the crazy thoughts in my brain all the time. <laughs> she knows all the tea. I just got back home. I didn't vlog the night because we were with friends and stuff and just like meeting a bunch of new people and it was such a fun night. Like I genuinely had such a good time. I'll try to insert some like pictures or videos if I have any. I don't think I have any though. I literally like, I think this is like the only picture that I have. I'll put it on the screen right here, but yeah. I'm gonna get unready and I thought I'd show you guys my skincare routine. So let's go get cozy in the bathroom. First, let me lock the door because a girl has gotta keep it secure in here. And second, let's remove my heels because I can't, oh my God, I'm waiting for this moment. I know like the night has to be over when I just like can't wear my heels anymore. Oh my God. I think I literally like broke one of my toes or like smushed it. It's like indented and it hurts so bad. Oh my God. Okay guys, so I put on some more intimacy and it's so cute. This is like, let me show you. This is a little silk dress and i just adore all these different silk pajamas like normally i wear sweatpants to go to sleep and ever since i got all these new pieces i've been wearing this silk and last night i literally slept so well and i like didn't wake up in a sweat before that i would wear sweat sets to sleep and when i wear those i literally like sweat so much <laughs> but they're so comfy so the new thing is silk i don't know why these lights are flickering but first i'm gonna take all of my rings off I'm wearing some rings from Etika. Their site is so cute. They have like the best quality rings, like actually like good quality. And I'm one to roast jewelry because some of these companies you pay so much and it literally just tarnishes. Like I always make sure I get good quality stuff. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. I almost brought my Aesop soap all the way here, but I was like, okay, Nicola, you're just going for a weekend. You don't need to pack that much. Wash my hands. Honestly, a lot because or I'm about to touch my face. Why are the lights flickering? Why is my camera flickering. Is this a problem? I'm gonna wash my hands the second time. Literally a second time. I'm using some Byredo soap. Okay guys, so most of my skincare routine is all from Aesop, also known as Aesop. It depends how you pronounce it. Yeah, basically, whenever I'm wearing makeup, I start off with the parsley seed cleansing oil and it is so good. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me take off my earrings. I have to get comfy for this because I have to take all my makeup off and it gets intense. Okay, it's time to go in. Get my face a little wet and then I take a lot of oil, get it a little wet, mix it in my hands, put it on my face. Oh, I need a face towel. And then I basically push it on my eyelashes. Like just like put it into them. Like kind of like this is what I do to take my mascara off. I close my eyes and I push down. I'm very delicate with my eyes. That's why I like this oil cleanser for my eyes because whenever I use eye makeup remover on a little cotton pad, I feel like I'm always accidentally ripping eyelashes out just because I have to like scrub so much. But this, it just takes it off in one go. Like, look, it's all off. Oh my God, hold on. The only issue that I'm facing at the moment is when I do this, I get all this oil in my eye and then everything is blurry like right now. Oh my God. Let me know if you guys know how to fix that. Maybe it's a problem because I'm not fully keeping my eyes shut. I'm like showing you guys my skincare routine and I'm like, help me figure out how to fix this. Oh my God. Whew. I'm gonna use a little more cleansing oil. Do it again just to like fully get through that. I have to get all the makeup off. 
round two. And then once I'm done with oil cleansing, I use my Murad, and this is the Clarifying Cleanser. I love this one. It's very cooling on the face. Like it feels very cool when you put it on and it's just such a nice gentle cleanser. This also could take makeup off, but my face feels so much cleaner when I use the oil and then this. The oil kind of like washes my face and takes the makeup off and then this is what like purifies my pores. Every time I wash my face, hotel or home, I always use a fresh face towel and I get the towel wet and then I wipe everything off and I feel like this is the best way to wash my face. I'm sorry, but I cannot be one of those people that is like in the sink, like throwing water on my face. Like I'm already a clumsy person, you know what I mean? So if I start doing that, like it's tsunami for the whole city. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I've just never gotten it because it's really hard for me to like wash my face like that. I just prefer it this way. And this is how they do it in facials, you know? Okay, so next, now that I double cleanse my face with oil and then then my face wash. I'm gonna use the Aesop Seeking Silence Facial Hydrator and this is my typical moisturizer. Like this is what I use every single day to moisturize my face. It is just so good and it smells like herbs. Like it is just so clean. There's no like bad ingredients in it. It's really good. And then because I'm in the desert today and I want to make sure my skin stays hydrated and I'm also gonna be flying tomorrow so I really want to like avoid all dehydration through that. I'm gonna use this Sublime Replenishing Night Mask and this is so good. It's basically like it feels like a cloud when you put it on your face but I just take like a bit of this and it's basically like a moisturizer but it just goes super deep and it's like a night mask but it literally just feels like a moisturizer to me. It is the softest thing ever. Like when I put this on my face it just feels magical. Like look at that skin. It feels so good. And then I'm also going to use this Damask and Rose facial treatment on top of it. It is so good. This even like causes hair growth because I've been using this oil on my face and a few weeks ago I started rubbing it into my eyebrows as well just to like moisturize them. And actually it made my eyebrows grow like crazy. Like it was insane. So I don't rub them there anymore. But by the way, I only take a little bit of this. Like I barely even squeeze the pump. I literally just like dangle it over my fingers and I get a little bit, rub it in my hands and then I just push it into my face and I've been through phases where I use this oil like I actually push a pump down onto my hands and then now I'm only using a little and the best effect is when you only use a little. I feel like your skin absorbs it even more. One of the last steps is I use the Exalted Eye Serum and this basically like bolsters your eye bags up so they're not gonna like sink down anymore or they're not gonna like sag. It like pushes them up. I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. And you also only need a little product with this as well. And you could use a leftover on your lips. Basically in store they explained to me this eye serum is meant to be used for like delicate parts of the face. So you could use it on your lips. And then the last step is the Sweet Beauty Pro Eyelash Serum. And this helps with lengthening my lashes. Like it just helps me grow more lash hairs. Sorry, I'm trying to open it and my hands are oily so I'm having some troubles. I'm just gonna put this over my lash line. Whenever I film myself doing things, I always like miss it. Like whenever I film myself pouring my tea or stirring my drink, I always like spill because it's so hard to like try to like show you guys eh, what's going on and like coordinate myself at the same time. So I went to put this eyelash serum on and I dragged it down instead of across. But yeah, now all I'm gonna do is my teeth routine, like my dental care routine and that's basically it. I also usually wear this headband when I do skincare. It really gets me in the mood. Like this has been one of the number one factors to my skincare routine. Like whenever I started wearing this, that's when my skin got good. But yeah, I'll show you up close. I'm really satisfied with my skincare routine. My skin genuinely feels so good. Feels so good, so bouncy. My face just feels so like genuinely clear. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. It keeps like flashing, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'll see you guys soon, whether it's before bed or tomorrow morning. I thought I would show you how crisp the sheets are. I love getting into hotel beds because it's just so cozy. Mm. I need to like get sheets like this at home because I need a new set of sheets. So I need to go sh sheets shopping. <laughs> Why can't I say that? Sheet shopping soon because I want to just like make my comforter really cozy like this. Mm, okay, I'm gonna watch some TV and I'm gonna go to sleep. I love you guys, see you in the morning. Good morning guys. I just looked in the mirror and I was like, look at my skin, it looks so good. Moisturized. I'm trying to like get up, but I don't wanna get up. 
I just want to stay in bed. We're leaving town today. We have the plane at like 3 and it's like 11 right now and I don't want to get up. Like I just want to stay in bed because it's so cozy. And then also like I would love to get up and like experience more of Phoenix and Scottsdale before I go to bed. I mean before I get on the plane. Oh my god I'm so tired. I am doing the last run through to make sure I didn't leave anything. Okay I'm gonna have to do anything. I didn't leave my laptop. That's good news. Okay it's time to go. Bye bye. I'm leaving my room keys on the table because I don't need them anymore. Oh, I locked myself in the room. I love traveling with barely any bags. Usually I travel with like 18 bags and like even like in pain watching the concierge lift. <laughs> Usually I travel with so many bags and it's so dramatizing. And this time I didn't even bring a carry on. Like all I have is my purse and this bag. Cause the flight is short, you know? But honestly I realize like as much as I pack in my carry ons and I pack laptops and my books and all this stuff, the only thing I use on my flight is my phone and my AirPods. Like there's no point to packing like my magazines, my books, my laptops. Like anytime I plan to do work on a flight, it never gets done. Like there's no point of planning it. Whenever I'm on a flight, I'm like, I'm on a flight, I'm tired. I don't want to use my brain, I don't want to think. Before a flight, I'm like, I'm gonna be so productive on the flight, like I'm gonna do so much work and I'm gonna arrive back and I'm gonna have gotten so much done. And then when I get on the plane, I'm just like lazy. I don't want to do any work. I don't want to think, I don't want to use my brain. I'm on a flight. I just want to like relax. Like this is my time to relax and listen to music and watch TV, basically. But yeah, Scottsdale has been fun, but I am so excited to go back to LA. Lobby though, it's so cute. Like it's so beautiful. Look at this flower. Our arrangement. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling. We're going to this hotel for brunch. One last brunch before. Oh, it's so cute. Wait, why does this kind of give like New York vibes? than usual it's like iced oat milk but with vanilla and a little bit of raspberry wait that's really good this restaurant we came to is so cute like it kind of feels like palm springs and beverly hills here combined into one but it's like so adorable i'll give you guys a little tour of the outside after we eat the raspberry is a nice touch oh my god and water because I'm on a hydration thing. Hey guys, so I also ordered a skin smoothie. It's so good. It literally just tastes like pineapple and coconut. And it has collagen and a bunch of things. Like, it's just very good taste. A little bit of this. A little bit of my latte. This is like my dessert. The illusion You love that camera, man. I love I really am sad to leave, but I'm excited to go back. Did that taste good? Yeah, it tastes really good. Thank you. Me and my camera are best friends. <laughs> Guys, look at this polish. Look at that. What? I've never been, so I need to go. Party for to the plane we go. My mom and I are hanging out now. Hi, everybody. We literally, we got back and the plane, like, it had no bathroom. So I had to pee so bad, like, unbelievably. It How was a plane not have a bathroom? It was a small plane. <laughs> so when I got matter. off the plane, like, we were all like, let's go but home. But even a so small plane has some form of bathroom. I mean, like. <laughs> I didn't have a bathroom this time. I was, like, trying to, like, open the wall and, like, there was literally no bathroom. Did they but, tell you uh, at that time? No, no I, I was not alerted. But then when we got off the plane, I was like, all of you guys. Move, I need to get off. And then it was just like such a long walk to like go into the building and use the bathroom. We just got in the car and I came here to the building and I was like, I need to pee now. No, you should have had an like, alert. Every, I was like, can you guys take my bag? And then everyone was like, where do you want us to put the bag? And I was like, bathroom, I need bathroom. <laughs> Bathroom, bathroom. And then she texts me from the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. The marble <laughs> looks great. Come and take some pics. I get to and the then, building. They're like, your daughter's looking for you. I'm like, I know. She texted me. She's in the bathroom. 
Look, we took pictures in the bathroom. And in they the bathroom. So, I and just wanted to so hang out in there cute. because I was so traumatized from not having a bathroom. They're oh. so cute. Oh, I'm yawning in the background. Oh my god. They give like vintage vibes. Oh my god, the pictures were so good. So if you guys good. see those on Instagram, you guys know they're from yeah. the bathroom. That's right. Because I was so traumatized from not being able to pee. Yes, but they should have alerted you. I would like an alert because when I gotta go, I gotta go. It was like a two hour flight. Too. Doesn't matter. So two hours is a long time. <laughs> when you have to use the restroom, you have to use the yeah, restroom. Yeah, when you have to use the restroom, you have to use the restroom. I love those colors on you. It's cute. You want to try this one? Um, no, I'm okay. My lips are so dry right now. I'm about to go It's very out. moisturizing. Is it? Yeah, you should try it. I like the YSL lipsticks because they're really moisturizing. It oh, feels it like is. lip balm, but you it's guys, a full-on it lipstick. Or lip it gloss. is so moisturizing. And it's glossy without being sticky. Oh my god, I like it. It's really cute. Really? Yeah. It's very bright pink, but it, you love pinks. I love I like pink. I started only wearing lipsticks from like YSL or Tom Ford, honestly. Like, high-end lipsticks make such a difference. Oh yeah, of course. I think YSL Lip, now that I've tried this, is super moisturizing. Yeah, I think it's YSL lipsticks are good. Um, the formula is really like it can spread. You know what I mean? Like when I wear my red lipstick too, like it can spread across my face because it's very moisturizing. This actually feels so. My lips were so dry. You know when your lips are dry, you put lipstick and then your mm -hmm. lipstick will look worse. Literally, they have to like it's so moisturizing. But this just totally moisturized my lip. When I want something that's like non-spreadable, I wear my Tom Ford liquid lipstick and I kind of use it as a lip stain. But when I want something moisturizing, I use this one. I'm so tired. Yeah, she's tired. Ben and I are about to go to dinner and we're trying to convince her to come with us. I no. think you should come with us instead of working out. No, I have You're to gonna work out. You're gonna work out tomorrow anyways. I have to work out. You guys, I hired a trainer three times a week and I really feel the difference so much. So I'm committed to this because I'm going into, in August, I'll be 50. Oh my God, when did I ever think I'd be 5-0? <laughs> but I refuse to go into it without the strong, it's not to lose weight, the trainer thing. It's just to lose yeah, it's about keeping your body, keeping your body in a healthy and like strength. Because as you get older, you lose a lot of muscle, you know. So it's just pretty much we do strength training during my sessions three times a week. I have a session tomorrow, and today I want to just do a light bike and sauna. Yeah, because I partied a lot this week. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of dinners out, a lot of wine. Oh my god. I literally do not drink because it keeps me like so like slim. Like if you guys are like, how did Nicola lose weight? Like I only eat air well, one or healthy and I do not yeah. drink anything. But you guys, that's the thing. Alcohol puffs you and up. And it's hard because like I'm 21, you know, and like my friends go out and stuff. And like sometimes you want to just like have a drink with everybody, but no, I just stick to it. It's oh, best. Hey. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm my love. I haven't seen you in so long. Oh my god. So long. Not like so like an hour Saturday. ago. Let's go eat. You know what we should do? I like your shoes. Morning? What? We should start like going in like, you know, those running tracks. Let's go every morning at 5 a.m. and just run. And run? Sweat. I've never yes. been a runner, but like we could I'm run. So Right. I'm Let's so do proud it. of you guys for like not drinking all weekend. <laughs> we didn't. No, for, we because doing you so guys well. are working. The Grammys are coming. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Ben has to prepare for Grammys. I'm trying to just like be healthy. Yeah. Be fitting for yeah. my photo shoots. It's so important. Like, it's you, good for the skin too. So, so good for the skin. You don't age as fast. Yeah. You look healthier. And there's like a glow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. So important. Okay, let's go. Suddenly you pass by and I stuck on my mind thinking I was done. Guys, we're waiting for our table and they have an etiquette book. The definitive guide to manners, completely revised and updated. I'm thinking of reading this so I can learn how to not be clumsy and I can be behaved. I'm a behaved woman. Actions express attitude. When you share last names, introduce your spouse and offspring to adults by first names only. This is my husband, Ron. I'd like to introduce our children, Rita and Simon. But include last names when married people use different professional names and children or stepchildren have different last names. No matter how casual the situation, don't use terms like my old lady or the brats. That may be funny within the family, but will seem strange, even demeaning to strangers. Oh wow, I should get this book. Five introduction groups. Most introduction mistakes are the result of normal, forgivable memory lapses or nervousness, but foul ups below result primarily from insensitivity and tacklessness. Looking away, don't look away during introductions. This basically gives people away the fact that you don't care much. Making two personal comments. Oh wow. Don't tell them about your personal life. Interrupting people. Do not interrupt people. Don't even break in to introduce somebody else.
else, wait for a more convenient moment, deferring to one person at the expense of another, be sure that both parties are included in any conversation that follows a polite introduction, gushing. Most people are embarrassed by overly enthusiastic introductions. Note to would-be matchmakers, while you may think that two eligible people would be a perfect couple, avoid exaggerating praise when you introduce them. Oh wow, that's a great one. Well, I'm gonna read this. Guys, right after I turned the camera off, after reading about all this etiquette, in this dark restaurant, I tried to take a picture of the book so I could buy it. And the flash goes off, and I hide my phone so the flash doesn't flash on everybody. And then I think it's done, and I take my phone up, and the flash wasn't done. It literally flashed again for everyone. I was like, oh my god. First dinner back. We're at South Park the Grill. The chicken with the boule is so good. The salad is amazing. And then artichoke. This is so good. I'm gonna try the salad. What? Oh no, his food is wrong. Wow. It reminds me of like a Persian salad. Everybody's looking at me mocking. This is the problem when you live in a house and not an apartment. And there's no concierge to help you with your bags. <laughs>